Hey friends, your boy here, Andy. Let's talk today about how to sync Firestore with Algolia. This is gonna be really, really fast, and I'm going to teach you also how we can leverage the power of Algolia. Let's start this. Okay, basically the first thing that we need to do in order to sync uh, um, Firestore in Algolia is to set up a couple cloud functions, and in order to do this, we'll need a bank connection. This means that we need to upgrade our project to the Blaze plan and to whatever you have to do. Don't worry much about this. You have a very generous uh, free tier even on the Blaze plan. So chances are that you won't be paying anything for this demo at all. So let's back to Algolia. After you set the free plan on Algolia, the first thing that is going to ask you is to, is to create a couple indexes. Or in this case, what we're going to do is that we're going to generate a couple APIs to work with. <clears throat> the first one that we're going to do, we already have a search one. Let's create a new API key for cloud function sync. And this is, we're going to create a index that is called, going to be called adults. And also we're going to call, want to create children. So these are the two index that we're going to, oops, adult and children. Nice. And this is going to be able to add objects and delete objects, right? This is our, the only permission that you want to do. And uh, if this will be like a front-end application, we probably want to lock down the HTTP refer in here, but since it's gonna be backend, we don't need anything else. So yes, we just can create our API key and our app key. We need these two, these two data in here. So let's see how we can do this. We just need this data and this one. So let's copy this one. So back in our project, this is a brand new project. So what we're going to do, the first thing that we're going to do is we need to install the dependencies. So I already installed them, but you will need the Algolia search dependency and also the types if you're using TypeScript in order to do this. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do right now is to set the environment variables. Let's first functions, mm, oops, nope. Um, Firebase function config, it's like this config that set. We're going to say Algolia and the app key. How do I call this? Give me a second, I cannot recall. Mm, okay, the app ID is going to be, let's go back here. Is this the value that we'll see here? Let's just take. You can copy this from here. And also we are going to say Algolia that our API key, API key, this is gonna be equal to the one that we just created. We just can copy the click word here and come back. And after that, that should be set, right? So if we just quickly check if everything went good, mm, Firebase mm, functions config that get, here you go, we have the environment variable. So this means that this line that we have in here have access to the to this application ID and the application key that we're going to need to instantiate the and the Algolia instance. So we're going to first create uh, the adults index. And you don't necessarily need to call this according to to your Firebase collection. This is totally up to you. So this is the snippet that I normally use. I'm going to provide this on the on the um, on the video comments, so you just can access to this. Basically, on this part we are just creating an object. On this part we're just deleting an object, and all this one we are updating an object, which means that we need access to the on write method that is going to trigger any change that we do on the adult uh, collection. So, so far so good. Let's verify this, adults, adults, children, children. Boom, we just can deploy this. But one important part to have in mind is this object that ID 
property. This is the one that Algolia is going to use to keep track of our object. We need this property in order to be able to localize our object in order to update and delete when it's necessary. So what we're going to do in here is using the doc ID and extend our, our doc info. In here, notice that it's really, really important that the that is object with capital i and capital d in here so after that we should be done okay so for us in order to test we need to create the adults collection and we're going to add one document let's say name is andy and the city is gonna be montreal so as soon as we say this is if everything went good we should be able to quickly see our chain reflect in Algolia. So, so far, so good. So let's test really quickly what happened if I change the name to Andres, and I say this, and I refresh my collection, it's Andres, change, really nice. And lastly, if I delete the document, boom, and I come back here, and no doc. So this means that we will be able to fully sync our adults collection with our index collection all right that was really fast i just extend this in order to show you a couple stuff because you know when people think about gold yeah for some reason they only can think about the keystroke search for firebase but there is so more that you can do with that um, just to show you an example i just deploy another another listener for uh children for a children collection and also add like 500 records for each. So we just can see what else we can do in here. So in order for following on me here, we are going to set, you're, you're going to need the search only key. So you just can come to init this client in this in this way and doing this lock, lock also. That's why I'm just hard, hard coding this. In here, I just create these two function a snippet that you just can use. I will add this in the docs, so you just can get it later. So one of the one of the first thing that you can do that I think is awesome that you cannot do with Firebase is, for example, I can add selective property for my query results. So as you know, if when you just get a document on Firebase, you just get all the properties or nothing. So in here, I just can tell, okay, go to the auto index and but only get me the e the name and the email of and the search is gonna be like a CA and get me only five. So if we run this, this is going to return us like a five records, which only the proctor I'm asking for. As you can see, is there is a CA in here, there is a CA in here, a CA in here, a CA in here, and even cooler, you just can identify like, uh, let's say, let's just go for this index and let's go to the, what is the configuration settings of this, the configuration. So if you come here, you just can say, hey, on my searchable attributes, the query only look for the email, do not get the value, the query value on the, on the name. Right now it's going to look on every single single attribute that you just have on your search. If we just search this again, we just can see that it's going to be a slightly different because this is not going to appear, this is not going to appear, but only the CA is going to be appear on the email email side. So um, that is really, really nice. Another thing that you just can do with Algolia that you cannot do with Firestore is that you just can do multiple collection search. So let's see, what do I mean by this? Um, let's say if I'm, I'm looking for to query two collections at the same at the same time. So in the adults and the, and the children, you can also even customize what is the thing that you want to look for in each one. And, and even though which parameter to return from each one, it can be totally different. As you can see, we, we are doing here name and email, and in here is name and age. So if we check the result of this, it will be slightly cool, really, really, really cool because we just get whatever, exactly what we are asking for on different collections with different attribute search. 
And you just can go even deeper than that and apply filter to your search. This apply for everything. So I just can take, okay, from the children, get me everything which age is on their five or equal in blah, 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 less on equal to five. And let's say, get me five from here and three from the adults without any tags. And as soon as we deploy this, you just have a more glamorous search, which I think is amazing. If you ever consider to extend your Firestore capability, think in, in, in Algolia, I really love this. Anyway, that's all. If you want to keep learning more about Firestore and Google Cloud Computing in general, please consider subscribe. Help me to get to 100 followers so I just can put a name on the channel and also make my mom proud. So see you next week. Bye.